Hey folks, Species7 here, welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to have, well, the start of what may or not, may or may not, sorry, be a let's play of sorts. This is Freight Tycoon Inc. Now, I have featured this before on the channel quite a long time back, and city builders are really popular right now. The one thing they don't have that this game, for instance, has, and other tycoon games like Farm Giant, is a whole lot of fun for almost no money. This game, on average, is going to run you between 2 and $5, depending on the day of the week and the site you buy it on. And it is worth every penny of both of those figures even added together. So, without further ado, we are going to go to a new game. It supports... Um, like, I haven't had to do any sort of patching or weirdness to get this to run on a Windows 8 computer. The initial menu screens are small like this, but you will see once we get into it, this is actually running in 1080p. Um, we are going to skip the tutorial level because as a pro... No, I'm just kidding, I'm far from a pro, but I have played it all. We are going to start with the Forest River, and what they want us to do here is make ourselves $2 million between the years of 1950 and 1967. Sounds good to me. We can pick a company logo up here, and we can pick a difficulty level. Um, I'm actually going to go for just a one star. We're going to... Uh, oh. It's only called company? That ain't good. Not good at all. We are going to name it, of course, Big Bucks Fast. There we go. Big Bucks Fast. Nice. And we're going to start a brand new game. Now this is a fairly basic tycoon style game in so much as if you've played pretty much any other and the first thing we're going to do of course is pause because we want to have a look at what we got if you have played pretty much any other uh, tycoon style game you know what you're going for here and that is of course to turn this initial six hundred thousand dollars into millions and in this case we're going to do it by running trucking companies because that's what the transport in this particular tycoon is, is trucking. We won't be building planes, we won't be building trains, uh, cab services, buses, none of that. We are basically going to be, on this particular map, we have six areas that are where we are going to set up commerce routes. Important things to note, this is our garage we can deal with our vehicles here this is our actual company where we hire personnel these other points on the map which you can click on to get to are actually businesses that are going to seek the services of a trucking company which luckily enough is uh, right up our alley right and there's the federal garage and to say there's a few of these companies around the map right now the more you deal with these companies another one right there so let's go back to our area the more you deal with them the more the city expands the more you get to make more money you get more contracts etc etc but the first thing you really really need to do is buy yourself a truck so we can do this by going in here and that'll give us our list of cars, we can look at what's in the garage, we can sell the garage, we can upgrade the garage, or we can repair different departments. So, that's that end of it. The company, as you can see, will give us, well, you can hire managers here, and there's some sort of special things you can buy once you've moved up, but we're a long way from those, unfortunately. And you can do the same thing, upgrades, look at it, etc, etc. First thing we need to do as a trucking company is, um, well, buy yourself a truck. Well, we might as well get the rest of the UI. Your time is down here. We are currently paused. You get 1x, you can get 2x, and you can get 4x. This is where your messages will come in. 
any messages. I don't actually have any at the moment. And this is your main menu where you can do things like go to your options panel, uh, save your game, quit your game. On this end we have purchase of cars which is actually trucks. So you can get to that from this menu or simply by clicking here. This is where it says regs. Well regs is our garage so you can click there as well to get that. Uh, hiring a personnel. If you don't want to click your company, you can do that here. And then we have lists of contracts. We currently have none. Yes, indeed. And then you have a stats, which shows that we've done nothing. Yes, indeed. All right, so first thing we're going to do is, as I say, as any trucking company would, we're going to buy ourselves a truck. Now, you can do this at different methods. You can buy these pre-belts, like here's a flatbed truck, here's a cargo bed truck, here's a tanker truck, a different tanker truck, etc, etc. Or you can buy the actual tractor and the trailers separately. All right? So first thing you want to do is figure out what is it? And we're going to start with nice close clients to our garage. Let's say Pine Forest. If we click on him, it'll tell us what he's selling and what sort of vehicle, etc. you need to be able to run it. So he wants to sell timber mainly and these goods. Okay. And down here you can see we need that type of truck for this and an open log truck for that one. So let's buy ourselves to start with I think we'll buy uh, Canopus is good enough for a start and they last five years longer they don't go quite as quick and they're 30 grand cheaper so you drag it into your slot there you now own that truck and the first trailer we want to buy is let's turn everything off except what well we can actually see it here so we don't have to but this is your filter system here for instance if I turn that off the trailer we were just looking at has just disappeared right so anything you don't want on and here it's not a big deal there's only one of each once you end up with ten of each you can turn off the different categories and it really helps so drag a trailer onto there ta-da now we have a truck and trailer combination what we need next is a driver so it's got to be a driver that can drive that kind of trailer. Here's one, Nick Powell. Hey, Nick. Let's stick Nick in the driver's slot. We now have a functional truck with a driver ready to roll. Let's make him some money. We'll go here and we'll go, hmm, let's pick a good contract, something with major monies. Eh. Well, we'll start small. Let's grab this contract and throw it up onto the same chart. Now, when we start time, what we're going to see happen is, there's our buddy. Okay, pulling out in his truck. He's got his log and rig on the back. And he'll go down there and pick up his load. And that's the start. And then he will take it well, as we can see by the connected line here, he's going to be taking it to that plant there, which is way over here. Cool. But right now, he's way back here. And there he just got backed in and loaded, and away he goes. And when he delivers that, we will make ourselves some money. And of course, that's how this whole thing ends up running. What we want to do since we bought one they gave us another slot so we're going to do exactly the same thing I'm going to buy another Canopus truck I'm going to buy another logging trailer and we're going to grab ourselves another capable driver what do we have here uh, whoops I lost track of you there you are throw you in there and from the neighboring shop, we're going to grab a little lumber. Throw that in there. Okay. 
Oh, there we go. We are bringing in the money. We're back up to 111,000. That was the delivery of our first contract. And you can see now this truck no longer has, <laughs> they just switched them, no longer has a contract icon. So first thing we want to do is make sure we grab it another contract. There we go. Once we get up over the 200 mark, or a little better than that, obviously, get a few more contracts done, we will buy ourselves a third truck. And this time I'll get the other one that these need. And as you get a few of these done, what you will notice, like any good city builder, is the areas will start to build up. Not only will the industries get bigger, but all of your housing areas will get bigger. Basically, you, the area just flourishes because you've set up good contracts, good trade. Right? And as you can see, both of our trucks are running around. As the contracts get completed, unless they do it all in one haul, your little contract card here listed as tonnage will slowly work its way down. And there's the specs on this truck, what it's doing, what it's carrying. And when you click on it, it also shows you the route. We can look at the truck if we want to. There it is, it's just pulling in there. We can sell it, we can remove it, or we can delete it. We don't want to do any of those things. Now what we do want to do before we run into any trouble is... Uh, go here. We want to do something with maintenance. The first thing we want to do is hire someone. Because if one of these trucks breaks down, we could be screwed. So let's grab ourselves oh, pretty much anyone at this point and put them in there. Now they have a chance. If the, if the truck will be towed back to the shop, once it's towed back, then it'll be repaired. But if you don't have that, the truck breaks down, it will sit where it was, period. There's nothing you can do about it. The other thing we can do is get ourselves a repair truck. All right. And that'll bring these up. Now they're not cheap though. I mean it's a hundred grand for this repair truck. But what it means is is you won't be paying a towing fee and it'll happen almost instantly. So that's something to keep in mind because you will want to be buying one of those pretty darn quick. Now we're almost finished this contract here. We are sitting at 142k. So you can see they get paid as each portion of the contract is delivered. And you want to pay attention to this, because you don't want trucks sitting idle if you can help it, right? And they're off. And we can, of course, speed things up even more. Zoom! <laughs> That'll get that contract paid up, which is what all of these are. And you can see we make money off each individual part of the contract. Right up until it's finally filled completely. There we are. We just filled that contract. 158000 so, we can go back here and just simply pile another contract on there. Let's keep them working, keep them expanding, keep them going. And like I said, you will end up getting brand new construction, etc. And when that starts happening, then you know you're doing your job right. Ooh, I think these guys have actually gone up a little bit. Cool. And let's head back over here and see how they're doing. All right. And I think that's probably going to be pretty good for our first little look here. As I said, much like Farming Giant, I'm just going to... Uh, this is a nice spot for a screenshot. Ta-da! I'm going to uh, do a little mini-series on it, see how many people watch it. Again, like Farming Giant, it is a whole bunch of fun for not very much money. Oh, you can see here we actually have buildings that are being worked on. All of these sparky things, those are actually arc welders making the construction. And we're going from this sort of little low residence house here to some much bigger buildings. So very cool. We are starting to get expansion already. But there you go. That's been our first look, guys. Hope you enjoyed. This has been Transport Tycoon. I'm Species 7. Take care of each other, folks. Hit the like button. Leave lots of comments. I will answer them. Take care. Ciao for now.